Hello, how is it going? Today I want to talk about painting stormtroopers and I thought the uh, best way to build up some cred about what I'm saying is uh, do a quick tour of uh, all the stormtroopers I painted uh, which may lend some credence into uh, the three ways that uh, I like to paint stormtroopers and which one I like best of those three ways. All right, enough blabbing. Let's just take a look. So the ones you're looking at right here are from the Star Wars uh, Rebellion uh, board game. And they, I was very early in my painting uh, hobby when I did these guys. Uh, in fact, uh, for a lot of the black, I used a, <laughs> a toothpick instead of a proper uh, brush. But uh, from far away, they don't look too bad. If you zoom in, you can, you'll be able to see that the details are, uh, are quite rough. But, uh, you know, overall... Uh, for the board game, just uh, throwing some paint on it um, adds quite a bit. So after I did those, we moved on to uh, Imperial Assault. So these figures here are from Imperial Assault. The ones with the gray bases, the ones on the right there of the basing are from Star Wars Legion. And my technique for imp uh, painting these uh, ones from Imperial Assault and the initial ones over here from uh, Star Wars Legion uh, was basically Sorastro's technique where he would prime them white, um, throw on a wash, a dark wash, and then kind of shape layer on white paint on top of that dark wash to try to make a you know a natural looking white. And uh, it's okay. It takes a hell of a lot of time. Uh, but you can see the how my level of skill, what that looks like for both of the Imperial Salts, and then you know, maybe a year or so later me doing that same technique and you know doing a bit better of a base job on the uh, Star Wars Legion models there. Now what I want to talk about today is let's look at these ones because these are the uh, the newer ones I, I've painted here and we'll just give me a sec. We'll scoop some of these out of the way and let's bring these guys up. So this guy here this is an example of uh, put them in the focus this is an example of kind of the, the initial painting I did for Star Wars Legion. And this is using Sarastro's initial Stormtrooper guide of uh, priming them all white, throwing down a, a layer of uh, black wash, <clears throat> and then afterwards coming in with black paint and whatnot to, you know, do the visors and the, uh, and the eyes and the, the parts of the helmet and also, you know, the crooks, and also a little bit of black manual edging on some of the edges. So, you know what, up close it's okay, far away though, um, it's alright, they're a little too white in my opinion, but that's just an example of what I, the initial uh, job. Now, what I wanted to do is, because I got another core set on a cheap box nay, and I couldn't, I just didn't have it in me to, to paint more stormtroopers the same way, so I, I did two different techniques. The first one I tried is with contrast paint, I'm like, okay, well, how well can you paint a stormtrooper? just with contrast paint and what I did is I primed it with the uh, contrast primer um, and then I layered over top of it with a white that was watered down with the, the medium that you can use with the uh, contrast paints and then I just hit the black uh, on the uh, the appropriate black parts of the stormtrooper so uh, you know what this took me this model probably took me about 15 minutes to paint it's not the prettiest model ever but you know uh, if you just want to get stormtroopers out ASAP to, you know, a, a tabletop level quality, um, contrast might be your friend in doing so. And let's look at this with one of the older ones side by side. So, you know, side by side, it's not too, you know, you get a little bit more definition from the manually shaded black areas, but yeah, it's, it's not that much different, you know. And this guy here probably took me, you know, an hour to two versus, you know, 10, 15 minutes for the uh, contrast guy. I've lost focus. Anyway, the other one I did this time was uh, a bit of a different technique. It's for, it's for these guys here. I actually, let's get them in focus. Or come on camera. There we go. I actually primed these guys black and then... Uh, once they were primed black, um, pardon me, I think I primed them uh, white with the contrast because I was going to say, oh, hey, can contrast do the job? And then I did the first contrast guy, which you just saw this guy here, and I'm like, ah, I wasn't overly uh, pleased with the results. So I'm like, okay, well, 
they were they I could have primed them black, which I should have done, but I actually primed them white and then I went over them with a layer of a with a black paint. And then from there I did multiple uh, dry brushes of white over top of the armor, which actually I kind of like a little bit better than my old school because I found the problem with the old school is they just got a little bit too white and then up close they're okay, but I find, you know, like when you're at a playing distance, these guys look super, super white and don't have really, you know, much definition to them. I'm not sure if that's an appropriate word, whereas, you know, the ones that I, you know, started off black and then shaded up white look better from a distance. Now, you know, when you get close, they're not perfect, right? Like, you know, it's like, eh. sorry, the damn camera's not behaving. Yeah, you see, like it's, it's a little maybe too dark on the chest area there and like the helmet looks a little, uh, come on camera, you can do it. You know, yeah, it's not too bad though, right? Like, but I find just at a table's distance, they're a little darker, but I, I just like how they look a bit better. Anyways, time-wise, these, the shading, you know, shading them up white layer, you know, dry brushing white over top of the black probably took me about half the time than the, uh, the, the uh, traditional way I did them where I, I prime them white, throw on the black wash and uh, highlight and then layer it up with white paint from there. Anyways, I'll let you, I thought this might be handy because you can see the same guy with the same painting skill uh, doing stormtroopers three different ways. So way one. Just to close here, that was with the contrast paints. That was a result. Very quick, uh, half, you know, acceptable-ish result. You know what? If somebody pulls these out at a gaming table, you're going to be more than happy that somebody spent some time to make your things look half decent versus the old school approach. Uh, that's with, uh, this guy here is with, um, you know, priming white, throwing on the black wash. And layering white paint over top of the effect to get, uh, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, that's the longest uh, effort, most effort. And then uh, this guy here is way of uh, doing, uh, the, I would say, the medium effort. And my uh, preferred approach is, you know, uh, priming them black and then white dry brush over top of that. And then just add it. Yeah, the, it's, it's much easier. Uh, it's, you know, it's less opportunities for making mistakes and much faster and I think gives you the best result of the three but yeah just wanted to throw that out there for you guys and hopefully you find that useful if you have a bunch of stormtroopers to paint anyways talk to you guys later have a good one